Well, hey there. I'm getting ready for the San Jose Super Comic and Toy Show May edition, which is tomorrow, but I can set up today. And I've been running around, uh, just got this. This is a display, it's by Rebamade, and it's, I got it from Office Max, which usually I'm more of a Staples person, not that I have a huge loyalty, it's just near to my house. But I got a coupon, spend $20, get 10 back. So this was a $28 thing. With the coupon, I got it for 18. And basically, it's a divider that's elevated. So I had one for displaying my uh, comics, the floppy of, of, of issue one of the horror and sketch covers and things like that, but it's gotten busted over the years of use to the point where it's garbage now. I was looking to replace that exact one. They didn't have it. This was the best they had. I'm a little nervous because the bottom isn't sealed. In, in other words, usually I put two comics side by side, and this one I might not be able to do that because of that opening. I might only be able to put one each. Not sure, but it does look more elevated than my other one, so it might be able to display better. Also, if it doesn't work for comics, maybe I could put some smaller prints on there or some original artwork. I'm not sure. Worst case scenario, I could always return it, but I figured I'll, I'll grab it, try it out at this show, see what happens. Yeah. Um, the other thing I'm doing now is going to the comic store to get some bags and boards. For my comics, yes, but also uh, because it's a toy show, I'm selling old toy stuff. And I have a lot of small Transformers that are like, you know, fit in the palm of your hand or accessories or build a figure parts. And I like to put them in the bag and board so that they're not just a cluster pile and people can really see what they're looking at. And then I could also put a price on it as well. I'm also going to go looking for some silver or golden age, I think it's silver age, covers because I got a pile of them uh, from my mother when I was visiting her in Delaware. And I want to put them in bags and boards because a few I'm going to keep, the rest I'm going to sell. But they're all, they all need bags and boards that don't fit the modern size. So that is the second component of my plan to get ready to go. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but the car is already loaded up. I have boxes of toys. I also have all my art stuff. I just got back from a trip to New Jersey. This whole month has been crazy for me. But it's good because I ha while I've been wanting to revamp my setup for a while at shows, I have a standard setup ready to go. And I don't have to think about it. I, I could probably stand to reprint a few things, make some new buttons, or you know, but I'm not out of stock of everything. I have enough that I can go and have most of my main sellers, and I have my default setup, so that while I haven't had time to restock and I haven't had time to revamp the way I do things, I could still do a show at a moment's notice. I even had all my art stuff still in the car from the last show I did, so all I had to do was bring the toys down. So anyway, that's that. Here I go. This gold key Solar Man in the Atom, which is one I'll probably be keeping. Uh, the gold key comic is slightly larger than the Superboy comic. So I'll definitely need special bags and boards for that. But the Superboy comic, I'm uncertain if it uh, would fit a modern age bag or not. So I may be getting three packs instead of two. Zip zap zap! Time has passed. I have succeeded. I got bags and boards. I found out that modern and regular are almost the same thing, but regular is closer to Silver Age and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I got some of those for the horror and my normal sketch covers for modern, but then I got Golden Age bags and boards. Why Golden Age? Well, the comics I have are from 19... Hey, so I'm going to sit my face. <laughs> are from 1954, 19, uh, 1964, 1965, respectively. The 64 is the uh, Superboy, and it is smaller. It is Silver Age. The 65 is Solar, Man of the Atom from Gold Key, and it is larger. So it, might, it must have been around the time of the changeover, or maybe Gold Key was on its own thing. But basically, to fit Solar, I needed gold, and I could put Silver in gold. So there you go. I'll just use gold for everything. Okay, I'm getting a little out of breath. Going in my car. Now we're actually going to go to the show. So we're back in the same hall that we've been in so many times before, but there was a weird line that I had to wait. I usually get there a little bit later. This time I got there right around check-in time. Uh, here I am building up, and as you can see, there was someone building up behind me, and they were like really pushing into my space. So I kind of talked to them a little bit and moved it back, and we got it squared away. But then they ended up being in the wrong space, so I had to have the same conversation with someone else later. Uh, it, it's weird the way they do the show here. Like, people get a table, but they'll build up huge booths with like four tables and not sit down and stuff, which is fine, except when you're a lowly little artist like me, and then you feel cramped. All right, all set up and even had time to. Wow, look at that sun. Even now. You. Hey, all right. All set up and even had time to do a little walk around shopping. Hopefully not spending too much at this show. Did get this Transformer. This is the Titan Master, otherwise known as a Headmaster if you're a G1 person. Broadside, who is a triple changer Headmaster, which is just crazy over the top. I open it so I don't care about the box. He goes for about 25 retail with tax. Got him for 20. The big dog helped me out. He was buying a Godzilla figure. Got him on a combo. I just literally got done saying, yeah, I keep seeing him for 25. I'd buy him for 20. He got him for me for 20. That's five bucks less than retail. No tax. 
beautiful. And that means I'm operating at a $20 deficit tomorrow. Nope, 19, because I sold one $1 build a figure piece to the big dog. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I hope to not do too much shopping. I have most of the stuff I've been looking for, and uh, I want to just sell toys and art and comics. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go get some Taco Bell. Eat my butt. No, don't eat my butt. Well, it's just after eight in the morning. I'm on my way to the show. I've got a box with me. This is not a comic box, it's a regular box. These Golden Age comics would not fit, well, actually, they're Gold and Silver Age, let's say, size at wise. Would not fit in a regular comic box. Do you get them all bagged and bored? I also looked them all up via eBay sold sales and none of them are super expensive some went up as high as five six seven eight ten fifteen dollars but they're none of them are in great condition so i'm going to price them at three bucks each and offer deals of people get more than three i'm tired i can't open my eyes properly i gotta get coffee short time jump it's still the morning of saturday it's almost nine i think it's nine minutes to nine show opens to early birds at nine it opens to everyone at eleven you pay an extra couple bucks, you get in for two hours early. Whew, I'm a little out of breath. Uh, I parked over further away so I didn't have to pay for parking, which I probably shouldn't have done since I'm running late. Yes, that's right, of course, I'm running late. I stopped to get bagels for breakfast, which I was running late in the beginning and maybe I shouldn't have, but I needed bagels and coffee. And if I didn't, I would have, I don't know, they, they have very limited selection here. And uh, anyway, I made a choice. However, once I saw how busy the bagel shop was, I didn't get eggs, I didn't get cream cheese, I just had two bagels in a bag so that I could be done quicker, which I was. I was out of there before people who had ordered ahead of me, so I was correct to do that. But I'm getting here a little later than usual, so my spot on the street over there was all filled except for like one or two spots. One of which I took was sort of next to a fire hydrant, but it, well, it wasn't at all next to a fire hydrant, but there was like red painted in front and back of the fire hydrant which was faded to the point where it's barely a pinkish white. And I pulled up enough that my bumper is about six inches over that pinkish white line. So I think I'm safe, unless there's some cop that's really bored and really needs to hit a quota. Uh, I'm walking over, carrying the box of comics I was talking about a second ago to you. And uh, yeah, the big dog's already there. So it's fine if I'm a little late. I mean, he'd prefer I wasn't obviously, but it's not like no one will be there. But also, while I don't like being late, I used to really stress about it and have like an ulcer and a panic attack. I'd be sweating and not so much anymore because I've kind of, this is the new normal, just doing shows. And if I'm a few minutes late, whatever. It's not like someone's going to ransack my table. It's not like I was going to make a thousand dollars, but I wasn't there. I'm just a few minutes late. It's not the end of the world. Plus my table's all done and set up. The only thing I really hate is when I get to a show late and I'm setting up when people are coming in. That I hate, but I'm set up. So I'll just walk up, sit down and be ready to go. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do now. We're still in early bird times, it's about 10. I got here just in time. I literally was ahead of the crowd walking in and the big dog was already set up, so we're good with that. Uh, I'm feeling better, I'm caffeinated, I had a bagel. Uh, I'm in the little area, this is my booth. This is the other person's booth. This is the other person's booth who set up and are not here an hour in and people keep asking, if you look, there's a pop thing right here, which is a little bit encouraging in, in my space if I'm being honest, it's like out in the area, walk area a bit. I don't know the exact rules, whatever. I'm not gonna complain to anybody, but at the that same time, uh, actually, like, I don't know if you can hear that, but that's the big dog explaining how we can't sell anything from that yeah. booth, which we've been doing all day. Um, but I did actually spend some money. I got a Mystic Force Megazord for myself for a good price. Uh, and I sold a couple things and uh, sold a copy of the comic. And I'm doing a commission right now of Leonardo from Ninja Turtles, which is a good commission. So that's where I'm at. Yeah. Here's a little bit of process on the sketch commission. That's the sketch, then I erased it. As I've said before, when I do pencil sketches, I sort of do a rough one, erase it, and then sort of re-ink it with the pencils. Uh, and uh, here it is, yeah, it's a, it's a Leo, kind of a jumpy sword pose. After the commission, I decided to do a little bit of a walkabout and take some looking. Take some looking? Sure, I took some looking. Uh, you know, seeing what's around, both to buy, which I shouldn't be doing, of course, but also to, to see how people set things up and see what's going on. And I saw this cool booth. Hey, what's up? Good man. My hands a little wet. I just washed my hands. I promise. Right. It's just water. Okay. You get another one. Where I saw this booth, which is hard to see, but they're lenticular, so they switch from like Goku to Super Saiyan or from, you know, Anakin to Darth Vader, that kind of stuff. I meant to buy one and forgot. Here's that stupid booth next to us that never came. Uh, the big dog put up some little posters. Not posters. What 
is it with me and talking today? Anyway, those were not posters, but they were instructing him no. to go over there. Here he is being jealous of some toys I bought, and here are some toys I did not buy. They always have a lot of G.I. Joe and Transformers and you know everything from like the 60s and 70s up until stuff that just is still in the store right now. And there's this one Transformers booth that I always like to go look at, and they have lots of cool stuff, but their prices are not very competitive. They're the kind where you look up online and you can find most stuff cheaper, unfortunately. But they're there all the time, so I guess some people are buying from them. So it's just before 4 o'clock, and things have slowed down considerably. We had a nice, busy morning, had some sales of toys, sold some prints, had a nice commission, etc. Uh, the big dog also doing well, I think, uh, but after about 12, things certainly died down. I've heard tell that there is a competing event nearby, and they took up all the parking. I don't know if that's true or not. Oh my gosh, here's Darth Vader and a Stormtrooper walking down the aisle. I have not seen a lot of cosplay today, so this is a nice little change. Ah, they're not coming over here. They're stopping to take pictures with people. I thought Vader was going to start throwing things around with his force anger, but they're just pointing and being friendly. I guess it's not really him. It's somebody in a suit. Anyway, as I was saying, things have slowed down, so I was able to walk around. Luckily, I bought nothing. Uh, I did actually buy something before. I forgot. Um, I, I showed you the Megazord I got, and I got four Beetleborg chromy figures. Uh, good deal on those. They're all super chromy, super tight. And I brought them back, and the big dog's like, where'd you get those? And I'm like, at a table you walked by earlier. So, good for me. Um, I'll show you those. Boo, here they are. This is one I specifically needed. These are alternate versions of one I already, ones I already had, but they, this one even have the gun. Just very, very nice, so good. Even with that, I am still up. I paid table, paid for the toys I bought, and I still have made a profit. So even though it's slowed down, it's still been a pretty good day, and we still have tomorrow. So it's a weird thing where the whole day has been, had been as good as this morning, it would be a great day, but it's a fine day, and tomorrow's just bonus, so I'm okay with that. This is my view today. It's always a little different. We built this wall. I'm typically standing, but I actually did carve out a little spot to do some drawing, which I didn't uh, the last time I split the table with the big dog. And one thing I've been doing, he doesn't like to put prices on his stuff. I do. He has a price list, but I like to put the prices on the back. So they're here if we need them, but they're not necessarily in everybody's faces. Uh, and because I put them on post-it notes, you can peel them off. That's going to fall and stick them on without damaging the packaging. Ooh. So it's 6.20 and I'm back home. Uh, the show ended at 4.30 today. I had time to stop at a little thrift store with the big dog, then came home and now we're making dinner. So today was a success. Um, I made enough that I covered table, I made enough that I covered the toys I bought, and still have a profit. Uh, and so tomorrow it was all gravy bonus time. Uh, and as I've talked about before, it's different when I'm selling toys to like art, because art, is sort of, it's not pure profit, but it's mostly profit because it's all about the work I put in beforehand. I'm, I'm spending time, but the materials are not that much. For example, when I get a commission, all they're paying for is my time and a piece of paper and uh, lead out of a pencil. So really it's just my time. But when I sell a toy, if it costs me $15 and I get $15, I'm breaking even. Or if I get 20, I made five. Or if I get 10, I lose. So, you know, while I might make a little bit of profit overall selling toys, it's mostly just recycling the same toy money into new toys. I'm going to Fix toys right there off camera. You can't see it, but my ranger keys are falling down. Anyway, um, so yeah, it was a good day. It, it started off strong, kind of tapered out, had a couple big sales at the end, which was nice. Both the big dog and I had large sales towards the end, which was nice, uh, and rounded out the day. Now, there was some sort of race or something today that was clogging up parking, which is what everyone was saying. People that wanted to come to the toy show were literally turning around and leaving because there was nowhere to park. Tomorrow, there isn't supposed to be that, so hopefully it will be as good as today, if not better. Um, which would make it for a great weekend as opposed to just a good one day. So that. The other thing is, uh, it's so weird to me that the people next to us did not show up. Um, so many people wanted to buy their stuff, wanted prices, kept coming back throughout the day. We put up signs. We, we move the chair. That was the thing. The chair was sitting up front and people who could sit in this chair like, no, that's their chair. And then I turned around so people wouldn't sit on it and then they would put their bags in it and, and I kept using that booth as a place to do their own stuff. So eventually I moved the chair and moved the other things in and hopefully nobody stole from them because people were looking at the stuff when we weren't necessarily looking at them because we weren't watching their booth. Their booth wasn't even supposed to be open. I don't think anybody stole from them, but if they did, I, I don't know how I could have stopped it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, what else? What else? I guess that's it for now. It was a good show. Uh, good times. Let's go on to day two tomorrow. Woo! Walking in for day two, Sunday. Um, the good news is that event yesterday does not seem to be going on today, or at least not yet, because there is nobody in the parking lot. The bad news is 
the show starts in about 15 minutes and there's nobody in the parking lot. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I got parking easy once again over on a side street. Got a small box of things I'm bringing with me to fill some gaps. I already sold one figure out of here to the big dog. So <laughs> every day I've sold something to him, I think, which is good for me. Um, but anyway, when I was walking over yesterday, I had a box of comics and somebody driving by slowed down and was like, what are you selling? And I'm like, comics, like, which one won? And he was like trying to buy them from me without even knowing what they were. It was weird. It makes me think of like when a guy going by in a garbage truck whistles at a girl like, hey, baby, like, what do you think's going to happen? And it was a similar thing. We're like, I can't sell you my comics now. It's not going to work. What are you doing? Anyway, uh, the other thing is that uh, I talked about selling the whole box of silver golden age comics that I had gotten from my mom. I sold the whole box yesterday, which was great. And I firmly believed that the time and effort I put in the night before, meaning Friday night, bagging and boarding them made all the difference. Not to say somebody might not flip through it or want it or whatever, but you know, I put a couple bucks in, got the bags and boards, and it just made them look much more presentable. You know, like that somebody, they, they wanted me too. They were driving by, they wanted to buy my comics or date me, one or the other. Uh, <laughs> presentation counts is what I'm saying, kids. Presentation counts. Now that's true of my art as well and toys and everything. I mean, I know, always know the right answer. I'm not claiming to know the best way to present things, but I know that presentation counts. And in this case, some bags and boards in a nice little box, sold the whole box. All right, this is me crossing the street, bye. Bye. I just crossed the street from over there. I've been waiting for this light forever. This is ridiculous. I was at this light in the car and it cost me like five minutes. Now I'm walking and it's costing me minutes. This wouldn't matter except that I'm running extremely late, partially because I stopped at Denny's. What's that? Denny's, you ask? Yes, the smaller, weaker brother of IHOP, but it was close and uh, I want to get some breakfast with the big dog. And uh, I didn't even finish it. The syrup tasted weird, so I didn't finish my pancakes. I only had one cup of coffee, but the bigger problem is I did not purchase bottles of water or soda or anything like that, which means I'll have to be doing that at the show, which is never a good thing. Uh, for cost and time and things like that, but I thought I'd be able to buy bottles of water there. I couldn't. This is boring. I don't care. I'm gonna go on the show. Bye. Art, the glorious side back entrance for dealers and vendors and art. <laughs> I'm the special man. I'm here four minutes before the rest <laughs> and about an hour after everyone else. Day two, we're about 45 minutes in. It is slow. It's not like yesterday where the doors exploded with people. Uh, behind me, those people still never showed up. Uh, apparently, they well, I don't want to get into their business, but they never showed up, and uh, so that's not good for anybody. Uh, I just bought a Diet Pepsi for $2.50. Why? Well, I needed a drink. I did have coffee, so I didn't really need the caffeine. I was going to get a bottle of water to hydrate. Water, $3.50, which is something I've seen before, that water costs more than soda. So it saves me money to be less healthy. Jerks. So yes, uh, I'm behind the booth. It is close to one o'clock. It's a short show today. It's over at 3.30. Uh, it's been slow. It's not been dead. I've made a few sales, but it, as I had said before, it's kind of gravy because I made table and I paid for my toys yesterday. I have not put any, wait, that's not true. I was gonna say I have not put any new toys, but that's not strictly speaking true. We got this Yondu from Guardians of the Galaxy. It says 15, these retail for 20 plus tax. The big dog got it for me and threw some sort of deal for 10. So that's less than half retail, which is awesome. This is actually for Q because she's collecting Guardians, but their piece is for this big tiger monster guy whose name I forget that I want. So that's nice. Titus, that's right, thank you. Uh, and uh, So yeah, but the day has been slow-ish. I've made eight sales and four or five of them have been to people I know. So there is that. Uh, I am thirsty, but I refuse to pay $3.50 for a bottle of water. I'm tired despite having two caffeines, and I need a haircut so bad. I really need a haircut. That's neither here nor there. Anyway, more later. Here's another shot of my booth for day two, and as you can see, I have some comics and toys underneath, and I try to put prints along the front if I can. I can't always. Um, and then this is another shot just of the show floor, and you can see how it's not very busy. There happen to be a couple people right in front, uh, but... And down at the end there, I don't know what that was. It was for like a cable service or something. And that's annoying that you see every now and then, uh, more and more possibly with all the shows that have to sell tables, of just like some random insurance company or something that has no business being there. And, you know, it's a little bit of a bummer. This Ultraman set I bought at this show about a year ago, sat in my closet, never opened it, and then I resold it to uh, somebody I kind of know who's an Ultraman fan. So, the circle of toy life. 
All right, we're in the last half hour. It's about 3.05, close at 3.30. Some people are starting to close early. It has been a slower day, but I have still been making sales up to the last second, so it's worth staying. Also, sometimes after, when people are walking out and it's like over, people are like, I need to buy something and grab something, so it's worth staying. Plus, I don't know, what's the rush? I'm talking to people. All right, take it easy, man. Like that person I just spoke with. Uh, so there's that. Um, I just bought myself Luke for $3. He will stay in the package. He will go on my wall. He's not a great figure. I don't need him, but I collect Luke figures. I have something like 30 or more different Luke figures. So that was for me. Uh, and I've made some nice art print sales towards the end of the day today, which made this day more profitable than it otherwise would have been. And uh, yeah, the overall, it's been a good weekend. I don't know if it's been a great weekend, but it's certainly been worth doing. So I'm gonna close it out with the last half hour, see what happens. Yeah, there's a few vendors that are packing up early. Some are like, we're out of here. And some are just kind of just doing the slow roll. I've been guilty of the slow roll when it's completely dead, but it's not completely dead. And because it, it could have been a better weekend, I'm trying to pick up whatever little sales I can. Uh, also, I just went and signed up for the next show, and there was someone coming in, paying their 10 bucks for the last half hour. So it's incumbent on me, A, to stay, because there's someone that just paid to come to the show, and if I pack up, I'm depriving them. That's a weird responsibility that I feel. But also, that's someone who has not been here that might want to buy my thing, so it's also good for me for business and selfishness. So we're now 10 minutes after, and as you can see, some people are completely done, other people are in the middle of cleaning up. Uh, I am going to just start slowly cleaning up now. Uh, the big dog's going to do a quick walk around. I had a last minute sell to another friend of mine, Will, of uh, my San Diego Dino Charger set. I gave him a little bit of a deal. I'm glad about that. Well, I'm glad he got them, but I'm also glad because I just spent money on this. It's a big robot! It's from Power Rangers Operation Overdrive, a season which I've only seen the beginning of. I never saw this mech in action, but he's awesome. He's motorized. Uh, I haven't had a chance to test him out yet. He had the box, but I know the guy who sells it, and I was like, look, give me a better deal. Keep the box. I don't need the box. I don't want the box. It's just going to sit in my closet. So he's like, okay, I'll keep the box because he could then put a loose one in and he resells. I just want it on my shelf. So I got a good deal on this and I pretty much traded my battery pack for this figure, which I'd rather have. So good. I'm going to start packing up. And uh, overall, it was a pretty good show. Not the best show, but certainly not the worst. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. All right, it's 4.30, and you can see where I'm at. I've taken down the entire scaffolding. I've got one hand truck full. Got all my stuff boxed up. This is the big dog stuff. He's always slow and doesn't get stuff done as quick, so that's fine. But this took me, uh, I don't know, 45 minutes to get to this point. And then it'll probably take me another 45 minutes to go get my car and come back and forth, etc. So the takedown is always faster than the put up. Yeah. Oh look, there's the big dog. Oh, he's walking away. I've been waiting for a while and I was like, look, there he is talking to someone. Oh no, he's still talking. So you can see his little, little gray shirt. Here, there, that's him. That's him. He's the reason I'm standing here. Oh, hey, uh, I gotta tell you some more stuff. You know, one time when I was five, <laughs> I'll tell you later. I'll come back later. Bye bye. Okay, look at this box. Five, rub it three times. Woo, look at that. Oh man, I got the thing. So there's the suspense. Suspense. <laughs> So there is a suspenseful cut to me outside, walking to the car. Alex came back after, he had to actually go to the car and do a few things. I'm just chop busting on him, but he was talking, but what took a while, I realize now as I smack myself in the face with my finger, is he bought a Megazord, well, a Power Rangers Megazord, but it was a Japanese Super Sentai mech from what we would call Time Ranger here, or actually we would call Time Force here, Time Ranger in Japan, whatever. It was a Japanese version of a Power Rangers Megazord. And what's funny is he had pointed it out to me and I had uh, looked at it and offered the guy a price that he didn't like and a few other people looked at it. And the guy had come to me and he's like, hey, maybe I could go down on the price. And I was like, I decided I don't want it. Uh, partially because I bought that other mech and partially because I realized I don't need the Japanese version. Uh, it's not that significantly different, blah, 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 blah. So when I see Alex a second ago walking, he has the thing that he bought. That's not unusual. He buys stuff way more than I do. And he's like, bam, and there it is, the Japanese mech. And I'm like, what? Because he doesn't buy Japanese mechs. He buys Power Rangers, don't get me wrong. So uh, he got it for less than I had offered originally, which good for him because a lot of people were sniffing around at it and the guy wouldn't come down on his price and he waited too long. And then at the end of the show, after the show, like 40 minutes after the show, an hour after the show, he ended up selling it for about half what he was asking for. So there's a lesson there. If you're too stubborn, you miss out. But my buddy, the big dog, got his due. So it is, oh my gosh, hot and uh, fluh. That is my view of the ceiling from the floor. I'm all done. It's really hot out and I hate the heat so much. It was air conditioned here and I don't realize how good I had it. Uh, the big dog is finishing up. He needs to borrow my hand truck. So he's doing that and I, I, rather than keep walking back and forth with him, 
or standing like I've been doing for hours. I'm laying on the floor. I'm laying on the cement floor, which if my wife was here would be like, oh, that's disgusting. Why? But it is a gross floor, but you know what? I'm disgusting right now. I'm sweaty, I'm tired, I need a shower. Uh, it's colder on the floor than anywhere else in the building, which is a plus. And it's flat and hard, which feels good on my back. And uh, maybe I'll fall asleep for a few minutes. Who knows? But this is nice. Nice. <laughs> well, it's, uh, I think it's like 9 o'clock. I've had dinner. I've taken a shower. Still haven't cut my hair. And I'm going back out. Here's a little specialized tip. If you live by yourself, this probably won't matter so much. But uh, today was the day when I packed up the show. It was an early day, but I'm physically exhausted. I stood most of the day. I didn't do any commissions or anything. So I was just standing, walking. And then I had to do all the walking back to the car, loading everything up. And I'm just beat, especially because it's been a whole long weekend, but today was you know, more exhausting at the end of the day than yesterday. Look at my fluffy hair. And um, I made a point of picking up food on the way home, and I needed to, I got married, and I have a wife, and she is great, but she needed me to pick something up. And I didn't realize it was urgent. I thought, uh, I tried to pick it up from uh, a stuff at Walmart. They didn't have it there, and I was like, okay, well, I'll get it tomorrow, no big deal. But it's this special shampoo because she was dyeing her hair. She needed it immediately. Well, not that second, but tonight, basically. Otherwise, you can't wash the dye out of her hair. I didn't realize this. And so I need to go pick it up because she's at home with blue hair and a plastic bag. <laughs> what I'm getting at is communication is good because if you're like me, I can go, 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 go until I stop. And then I'm, oh. And I stopped. And I was like, oh. Then I took a shower. I'm still not feeling great, but I'm a bit more awake. But my point is, I should have been clear that she needed it tonight and made a point of picking that up before I got home, so I wouldn't have to go out again now. I pretty much did this to myself. Boats. Hey, look, it's Monday morning, and I should be getting back to work, getting back to life, but I wanted to just to quickly show you what I got from the show. The fun stuff. I showed you a little bit, but here we are. Now, most of this is from the show proper, but a few of these things I picked up because the big dog got them for me, etc. All right, so this one I already showed you. This was actually let's go in order. Broadside. This is the first thing I got. He is a Titan Master. He is a triple changer. He is a current transformer that you could get in stores for twenty-five to thirty dollars. I got him for twenty with no tax, so that was a deal. Good. Ha <laughs> ha. Next up comes the Mystic Force uh, Magnacore Zord, a uh, Manticore Megazord, um, which I have not watched Mystic Force yet. I will eventually as I've watched or have, I am watching or will watch all Power Ranger seasons, uh, but it looks awesome and I got it for a really good price. It's in the box, it's not new, but it looked really good in the box, like almost new. Okay, what next? Well, I got these Beetleborgs, which I talked about before, 10 for the set, that's pretty awesome. I got more, so they'll all go with their buddies. And most of that was day one but also i got this set from the big dog uh he picked it up for me it's the two pack of poissandra and the red dino charge ranger i do not need him at all no one does but the only way to get poissandra is to get that set so there you go moving down he also picked me up cup another titan master headmaster this is the current wave he's a g1 character from the movie this is a good version of him uh other than a third party i think it might be the best version and i'm pretty happy with that he got it for me at retail which is good because i've never even seen him at retail the next day being saturday the main thing i picked up was this gentleman and this is the Battlefleet megazord from operation overdrive a season which i am uh have watched some of but not to the point where i got to this this is the carrier zord the big zord uh, this is the American version, and I also said, you know, you keep the box because he buys and sells Power Rangers, so if he gets a loose one, he could put the box in, charge a few more bucks. I don't want the box. I don't want to put it, my toys in boxes, and then I take it out of the box, and it goes into a closet over there that is full of boxes, boxes that I feel guilty throwing away. When I get new toys like this now, I throw the boxes away as soon as I can because if I hold on to it for too long, it might become valuable. Maybe not this one so much because it's a card, but ones like this. Meanwhile... If I get an older vintage box, a Japanese box, I feel like I need to keep it because it's part of history, it adds to the value, etc. So I was like, you keep the box, give me a better price. He did. Great, thank you. And this one is motorized. In robot mode, this wheel is turning. But you put his hands up. Ah, spinning battle attack! Da 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 da! Da 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 da! We've got to stop him! Oh no! My brother! <laughs> no one can penetrate his defenses! What will we do? Oh, I've been hit from behind! Maybe the cat can help us. No! She is uninterested in helping them. So yeah, he's pretty cool. He also separates into individual uh, ships and one big sort of carrier that rolls with the, the you know, the battery power. I'm not going to do that right now. The last thing I got... There's two things I got, I should say, are this Luke, which is... came out around the time of Force Awakens, so it's a little bit older. Um, 
it's uh, it's a version of Luke I have. I have a Bespin Luke. I have a mini Luke collection, as I've talked about. Got him for three bucks, so good deal. Uh, and then this Yondu, which is for uh, Q, my wife, who collects the Guardians of the Galaxy. So that is the haul. That is the fun side. And I did this all while working and selling. Picked him up from Walmart. $10 on the way home. Had nothing to do with the show, but it's something I got this weekend. <laughs> okay. And that, my friends, is the report from the San Jose Super Toy Show May edition. There's another one coming up at the end of September into October. Already got a table, so uh, maybe I'll see you there. Maybe I won't. I still need a haircut, but I have taken a shower, so now I have fluffy, nice hair. Good! Hey! <laughs> this is a weird video. All right, thanks for watching. I'm Gazbot. Feel free to like, subscribe, all that jazz. See you next time. Bye. I was all done. Oh, I've got a haircut now because time's passed. I was all done with this video, but I wanted to just quick show you. I opened the Manticore. Hi, <laughs> Uzi wants to help. I opened the Manticore Megazord and wanted to show you how fun it is to play with. <laughs> so there's that. Anyway, thanks and see you next time. Both the big doy, both the big doy, the big doy, both the big dog and I. Woof, woof. That's weird. <laughs> oh, cowie! Cowie. Okay.